Demon. Uh, tonight uh, I would like uh, to talk about when you play a Swiss tournament, especially with a few rounds a day, uh, your preparation depends on your repertoire, opening repertoire. Uh, if you know opponents you play, then it's easy to prepare to the particular game. But in round Roman tournaments, uh, it's a little bit different case. You have enough time to prepare to a particular game, and you can use this time to get a good position after the opening. And you can prepare uh, even if your opponent plays very rare, rare uh, openings. In uh, 2020, I played in US Senior Championship uh, versus Shelby Gates. I never I met him over the board, and uh, when I started uh, to prepare to the game, I found that his main opening choice is to play a3 on the first move. How is it possible to prepare this opening? You never played, you never seen. But uh, I was able to prepare quite well. In the uh, database, I found a uh, few games played by my opponent with white. And in one game, I saw that after a3, knight f6, he plays g4, g6, knight c3, with idea e4, d5, and then uh, he played bishop f4, queen g2, playing opening d4, d5, knight c3, uh, with wasting tempo, playing a3. Extra a3 move, but it's unclear whether a3 is necessary in this position. And when I started to my preparation, my open preparation, uh, it was very interesting to analyze this position because uh, black can get nice counterplay and uh, during the analysis, I found very nice ideas for black. In this game, instead of bishop f4, uh, my opponent played bishop g5, bishop g7, queen g2, h6, bishop f4. So we, we got the same position as he played in his games, but uh, with uh, black pawn on h6 instead of h7. I was not sure that uh, h6 pawn is well placed here because uh, black uh, cannot uh, castle immediately. And the main uh, question here, whether black can play c5 immediately uh, attacking the center and creating counterplay in the center. Uh, of course, uh, uh, probably uh, c6 uh, was possible, but uh, it's uh, a little bit uh, slow. And let's look what happened after c5. Now uh, white has few continuations. Uh, let's look at the straight knight b5. 
at I can uh, C7 square and uh, three knight C7. Uh, is it necessary to play knight A6 here? It looks like black has a better choice. He can play knight A4 immediately, queen G3, and now simply castle. And it looks like knight C7 is not a threat because of E5 move. And after knight takes A8, E takes F4, uh, black gets excellent position. His uh, uh, white knight on A8 is trapped, uh, and black has a uh, weak uh, development advantage, and uh, his pieces are very active. And actually, uh, black's position here is almost winning. So let's look what to do after d takes if d4 takes c5 move. And now again, black can start his attack with d4. Knight b5 here. Uh, black can castle. Uh, because uh, here uh, the pawn on h6 is not hanging. Bishop takes h h6, bishop takes h6, queen takes h6, and queen a5 win the piece. Also, uh, knight c7 is, is not a threat uh, because. Uh, black gets uh, also black uh, has uh, uh, e5 moves in uh, bishop uh, knight e4 and uh, black uh, gets very good compensation here and very strong attack in the center So after knight b5 castle, uh, queen takes d4, also uh, not so good because of knight d5, and uh, black gets excellent uh, position here, simply uh, bishop g7, and he has uh, much better position with uh, two bishops and uh, very big development advantage. Also after d4, castle is not good because of simply knight c6, knight b5 and castle. And again, uh, black gets a very good position after bishop takes h6, knight e4. This is the important move after which uh, black wins material. Queen f4, take on h6. And here the best continuation is queen d5. This idea queen a2. Uh, because knight f2, knight takes f2. It's uh, risky since uh, white has uh, knight f3 move with idea knight g5. But uh, after queen d5, black gets very strong initiative. Uh, queen a2 is a threat, and after f3, now knight f2 is winning material. And after uh, knight c7, there is queen a2 move. If knight c3 here, then simply queen h5, training queens, and winning the rook on h1.
So uh, DTX C5 uh, is quite dangerous uh, for white. Uh, that's why he is playing E3. Castle. Now after E3, castle is uh, possible because uh, pawn on H6 is not hanging. D takes C5. Uh, again, in this position, uh, White has a choice, and somehow I was able to guess White's move. Actually, in his previous game, I mentioned uh, before, uh, my opponent also uh, played this plan with D takes C5, but uh, the pawn was on H7. In that position, uh, I, I think that uh, D takes C5 is a little bit uh, risky here uh, because uh, White needs to finish his development, and I think that uh, the best way uh, was to play, for example, uh, Bishop D3, Knight C6, Knight F3, but even here, uh, Black uh, has very good position after knight h5. Uh, black is uh, trading uh, bishops, uh, uh, dark square bishop uh, for the knight, or if uh, white plays bishop e5, then uh, he can uh, play c takes d4. Uh, bishop takes g7 is bad here uh, because of uh, d takes e3, intermediate move. Uh, win the pawn. If e takes d4, then uh, black uh, has uh, very nice move f6 here. Again, the space and also uh, getting two very strong bishops. If uh, here white takes on g6, then after f takes e5, bishop h5, e takes g4, knight e2, e5, black has excellent uh, central pawns, uh, two bishops, and after castle bishop f5, it seems that uh, black's position is uh, much better here. If instead of bishop takes uh, g6, here uh, white plays a bishop g3, then black can simply play g5, and after castle, uh, he is ready uh, to create a counterplay on the queen side. For example, after a6, bishop g6, here, take, take, queen g6. Uh, Black's idea is to play f5 and uh, bishop on g6 uh, has to move to h5 and it, it will be completely out of play. And then uh, black can simply uh, start attack on the uh, queen side uh, with b5, rook b8, b4. And black is again uh, better here. Also, uh, nice uh, uh, castle here uh, was possible. But after castle, uh, black can continue something like uh, knight c6. And here, after d takes c5, e5, bishop g3, and uh, black can get a good position, uh, continuing his development even uh, with uh, another pawn sacrifice in the center. He can play uh, queen e7, and here uh, white again uh, has a choice, either uh, to capture another pawn on d5, uh, or to protect his pawn uh, c5. Uh, let's 
look what can happen. After uh, knight takes d5, uh, knight takes d5, queen takes d5, rook d8, queen f3, simply bishop e6, and black has huge development advantage here. And uh, it's unclear how uh, to defend uh, uh, white's king. Uh, queen takes e5 is a threat, and if uh, white gives up uh, a pawn uh, this way, taken on d6, bishop d3, king b1, uh, rook c8, king b1, and now uh, black is starting his very strong attack. He can play b5, white has uh, to finish his development uh, with knight e2, uh, because uh, bishop takes b5 here is very dangerous because of rook b8, and now uh, uh, queen cannot uh, capture on c6 because of checkmate on d1, and if bishop takes c6, then black can take on b2. Here, king takes b2, e4 is winning because uh, white does have uh, a a any move with uh, his king, not uh, no losing uh, material. For example, the king b1, queen takes a3 with threats, queen b2, or queen a1 checkmate, and uh, also the queen on f3 is hanging. If after b5, uh, white uh, plays knight e2, then uh, b4 is very strong. And after a4, uh, trying to keep uh, king's position uh, closed, after uh, a4, uh, black has another very strong move, uh, b3, and for example, after knight c3, b takes c2, then knight a5. And uh, black's position is almost uh, win here because he has uh, too many threats. Queen b4, queen b4 uh, uh, with knight c4 uh, threat, also knight c4 immediately uh, with the threat of uh, queen b4 uh, and very strong uh, black bishops uh, also rook on c8 is very well placed and white still uh, does have uh, pieces developed uh, rook on h1 is out of play also bishop on g3 is uh, very bad placed so uh, taken on d5, uh, probably uh, a bet. And if white is uh, going to protect a pawn uh, c5 with b4 move, then uh, black can continue his attack uh, with uh, version a5 move. Also, uh, bishop e6 uh, is possible. But a5 uh, is e e even stronger because now uh, if uh, white tries to keep uh, a file closed after b5, uh, black uh, has very strong bishop e6 move. Sacrificing the piece because uh, after b takes c6, uh, the attack will be uh, very strong, uh, queen takes c5, uh, queen takes a3 is a threat, if white plays here, for example, uh, king b2, then simply b takes c5, and 
there is no defense uh, out of uh, Black's attack. Uh, for example, Rook A1, protecting pawn on A3, and creating uh, shelter on C1 uh, for the king. Uh, Black can continue with Rook B8, King C1, and simply Knight E4. It seems like uh, Black uh, sacrificed the piece and uh, his bishop on g7 now is uh, not uh, so active as uh, it, it was before, but uh, White anyway doesn't have any uh, defense here. Uh, for example, knight e2, simply knight d8, queen c3, and queen b6. Uh, what to do uh, for white? He is almost in Sukh's one. And uh, what do you think? What is uh, Black's threat here? How he can continue his attack? The main threat uh, here is bishop a2 move uh, with the threat a queen b1 checkmate. And uh, white does have a any defense out of this threat. Uh, for example, after uh, bishop takes e5, bishop takes e5, uh, queen takes e5, bishop a2, uh, black wins because now he cannot uh, capture a bishop on a2, uh, checkmate threat queen b1 uh, is very strong. And if a knight d4 or knight c3, then uh, black wins uh, rook on a1. However, uh, white uh, can create uh, a few threats after uh, knight d4. Check, take, and uh, bishop c4. But uh, black has enough time uh, to defend his king. For example, he can capture h1, bishop takes a2 is a threat, uh, the, the bishop takes h2, a2 is the only move, queen takes uh, g2, and now uh, pawn on uh, g6 is uh, protected, uh, so queen f6 uh, is not uh, so, so uh, strong threat, and if uh, bishop takes f7 here, then uh, black can simply play king h7 and after uh, queen f6 c5 uh, it seems that uh, white does have uh, enough threats uh, after bishop d5 uh, hoping uh, for uh, perpetual check after rook takes d5 uh, black can simply play Rook d7, and after uh, knight c6, and rook b7, uh, the last chance, the last white chance is knight e7, and here you, you can uh, find another nice move, after which uh, black can uh, simply win the game. If you can uh, find it, then uh, you will like it. Simply uh, rook f5. And there are no checks anymore, and uh, black is won here. A actually, when you analyze such positions, you can get a uh, great pleasure uh, just uh, finding uh, very nice moves when uh, you can sacrifice uh, pieces and uh, then uh, playing just positionally. In this position, uh, for example, queen b6, white has extra piece, but he is almost in Sukh's one, so he has 
remove here, but uh, there is no uh, defense out of bishop h2 move. Also, uh, here after bishop e6, uh, there is uh, knight a4 move. But uh, anyway, uh, black can continue his attack uh, by very nice moves. Uh, he can play knight a4, and after uh, queen d3, another uh, very nice move. Knight before here uh, what to do after night before uh, seems like uh, white case to capture the night a takes before another uh, piece sacrifice and black uh, his decisive attack here uh, after night b6 for example he can play Rook a3, and queen is trapped here, and if uh, he plays knight takes d5, then simply take, take, knight c3, uh, and uh, black wins. So you, you see uh, how strong can be attacked uh, only uh, because of uh, white pieces are not uh, developed here. So, uh, in the game, it was played uh, d takes c5, and here uh, I, I could uh, try uh, to play knight c6, uh, get in the same position uh, as in the previous variation with uh, uh, castle first. After knight c6, castle, uh, I can... Uh, Black can get the same position. But after knight c6, uh, white can play knight f3, developing knight and uh, taking uh, control over a5 square. So instead of this, I decide to play knight bd7, attacking uh, the pawn on c5. And uh, this was uh, my analysis uh, be uh, before the game. And it was, uh, they, they were very nice opportunities for black. Here, uh, what to do for white? He can uh, castle here or uh, to play before, uh, again, uh, protecting his pawn on uh, c5. Uh, in the game, uh, my, my opponent uh, castled. But uh, let's look uh, what can happen after before here. Then black is ready to break the center. e5, bishop g3, and d4. e takes d4 is very dangerous to, to open up uh, another uh, file in the center uh, when the rook can come into the play after rook e8. So, uh, black is playing, uh, white is playing knight b5 with the idea to put it on d6. And uh, on the first side is unclear uh, how to uh, continue the play. But uh, black has another excellent opportunity. He can play knight a4. What to do here? Uh, white has uh, two uh, reasonable moves, uh, queen c1 and queen g3. Let's look what can happen after uh, queen d3. Uh, the knight is attacked. Uh, also, after knight takes uh, g3, h takes g3, uh, white knight is going to... Uh, to uh, d6, which would be a very nice square, and somehow white can try uh, to finish his development. But uh, using this uh, huge development advantage, black can 
continue to sacrifice pieces. He has uh, very nice knight uh, d7 to uh, take c5 move. Uh, what is Black's idea? Let's look. After b takes c5, bishop f5. I'm uh, developing uh, my last minor piece uh, with a tempo. Now knight takes g3 is a threat. And uh, white uh, queen uh, should go out of g3. Uh, uh, so queen c4. How to continue? Simply uh, rook c8. Attacking uh, pawn on c5. And uh, threat rook takes c5 is very unpleasant. So e takes d4. And what to do now? Suddenly black can continue uh, his attack with uh, rook takes c5 move. d takes c5 is not possible because of checkmate on d2. And after uh, queen b4, e takes uh, d4. Uh, black has very strong initiative for the piece. It's uh, unclear how to uh, finish his development. Rook e8 is a very strong threat. And uh, after bishop d3, here black takes on g3, h takes g3, check on e8, knight e2, and how uh, to continue. Of course, uh, after bishop takes g3, white uh, cannot uh, save the piece. But uh, probably after c takes g3, uh, rook c2, he can castle, giving up the knight on e2, but finishing development. And uh, after that, white has some chances uh, to escape. But instead of uh, rook c2, black has very strong queen g5 move. This double attack. Uh, now, if white castles, then after rook takes b5, queen does have move to uh, defend his knight on e2. So, what, what uh, white should do here? Uh, also, after queen g5, there is very strong uh, matching threat, rook c1. And if white plays uh, queen a4, then after rook takes b5, again rook uh, b2 is a threat, rook b to e5 is a threat. And white does have time to finish his development. If after knight e4, white plays queen c1, then again there is very nice b6 move. Uh, what is the idea of this move? The idea is just to break pawn structure on the queen side. Uh, here, for example, uh, the main uh, continuation is c6. But uh, if he plays uh, c takes b6, after queen takes b6, a6 is a threat, winning uh, knight on b5, uh, for example, after e takes d4, a6 winning the knight, and uh, black is still attacking and he will have uh, extra piece. If white uh, plays bishop d3 here, then black can continue with knight takes g3, h takes g3, d takes e3, 
and here after uh, queen takes e3 e4 uh, again uh, winning a piece uh, for black because rook on a1 is hanging uh, and bishop on d3 is also uh, under attack if uh, uh, black trades queens bishop takes e4 then after uh, bishop a1 bishop takes a1 bishop takes a4 here uh, black can capture uh, bishop on a8 but uh, here uh, bishop d7 is even uh, stronger attacking uh, bishop on a8 with the rook and also attacking knight on uh, b5 uh, with the bishop and uh, black gets uh, winning position here uh, if uh, here uh, after b6 uh, white uh, plays c6 then again uh, black has a very nice idea uh, he can uh, simply take on uh, g3 and if uh, h takes g3 then after knight f6 uh, black still has uh, very strong, uh, very, very strong uh, advantage here uh, a6 is a threat and if he takes d4, a6, knight c3, uh, knight e2, uh, all uh, white pieces are on the first rank, except of knight on e2, and uh, uh, black can easily uh, continue his initiative here. For example, uh, after possible moves, rook e8, knight f3, queen d5, rook h4 attacking, uh, pawn on d4, knight g4, queen d2. Uh, black can simply play h5, rook d1, take on c6, take on d4, uh, queen c7. Uh, here uh, black simply uh, continuing uh, to develop his uh, pieces he can uh, put his bishop on uh, d7 for example after c3 bishop f6 bishop d7 then bishop is going to a4 and uh, to show how hard uh, he had uh, to play uh, for white uh, Let's look at this variation. Bishop a4, rook d3, rook d8, queen d2, queen a7, and uh, white is almost in sucks one. He does have moves uh, with uh, his uh, pieces. For example, if he plays f3, then even bishop g4 is possible, forcing f4 and bishop f6. Uh, and after that, again, uh, white is almost in source one. And if uh, white tries uh, to trade some pieces, uh, for example, uh, knight c2, uh, black has another uh, very nice shot here. Uh, he can just uh, trade a few pieces, and here, after knight takes f2 uh, black wins because uh, king takes f2 is lost after taking on c3 and rook d8 so you see uh, uh, that uh, black has a huge advantage and white is almost in sucks one uh, the final position So before uh, is uh, very dangerous here, and uh, White played Long Castle. Uh, 
Вот туда автозет. My analysis uh, continues with night take C5. Another, uh, now uh, there is another uh, choice for white. Uh, 94 uh, is quite unpleasant threat. Uh, so what white should do? Either uh, to allow to play 94 or uh, to protect e4 square with f3. Let's look what can happen after f3. f3. Uh, and now black is continuing uh, to develop pieces. Uh, bishop d7. Uh, his idea is simply uh, to play rook c8, then probably a6, b5, uh, creating threats on the uh, queen side. For example, uh, here uh, knight takes d5 is dangerous. Let's look why. Knight takes d5, knight takes d5, queen takes d5, rook c8. Of course, uh, queen b6 was uh, also uh, possible. Uh, for example, after b4, uh, black has uh, very nice and very strong uh, continuation. He can play simply uh, rook c8 here. Now, uh, b takes c5 is bad because of queen b2, then king d2, bishop c3, let's look, check, check, queen takes c2, check on b5, and uh, black wins the rook on d2. Uh, what to do? What else he can do? Uh, let's look at uh, Bishop e5 move. Then black can get uh, very strong initiative with knight b3 move. Knight b3, uh, if uh, queen takes b3, then uh, bishop takes e5, uh, knight, uh, bishop on d7 is hanging. But black has another uh, shot here. He can play bishop a4, and after bishop a4, uh, white is forced to capture this uh, bishop, take on a3, king b1, queen takes e5, sit in checkmate, and after king c1, uh, check, and rook d8, rook f to d8, uh, uh, black does have uh, defense out of uh, checkmate. For example, if he plays uh, bishop d3, then uh, how uh, white, uh, how black uh, can win the game? Could you find the continuation here for black? Another uh, very nice shot here, rook takes d3. And if rook takes d3, then queen e1 with the checkmate. And if c takes d3, now c file is uh, open. Uh, white king does have uh, shelter on c1, and queen d4 is uh, mating. Uh, there is no defense out of queen b2 or queen a1 uh, checkmate. Uh, if after rook d8, uh, white trades rook and then uh, plays uh, bishop e2 here uh, bishop d3 is uh, also bad because of check and uh, queen c3 with queen b2 checkmate and queen a1 uh, checkmate so uh, bishop b e2 is the only move and now queen c3 uh, wins the game again there is no defense out of uh, checkmate so let's look
what to do after rook c8 if uh, white plays for example uh, king b1 uh, bishop f5 also uh, here uh, is possible uh, but after e6 uh, white queen does have uh, a square uh, to protect e5 uh, bishop because uh, queen d4 is impossible because of knight b3 Knight b3, uh, uh, sorry, fork. If uh, queen d6, then simply rook c6 and uh, black wins a piece here. So uh, if queen b1, white has extra pawn, but uh, black has very strong initiative. And how to continue uh, with black? For the first side, uh, black can play a queen b6, and probably this uh, uh, also enough uh, to get a uh, very strong position. But uh, white can have some chances uh, for escape. For example, after uh, bishop e5, uh, bishop f5, uh, a white can sacrifice his queen and uh, he can get a rook and minor piece uh, for the uh, queen however uh, black's position is still very strong here and he can uh, create uh, attack on the king uh, because of uh, undeveloped uh, white pieces and uh, for example he can play queen a5 here bishop c3 and queen a4 attacking the pawn on c2 now uh, after a4 black has knight takes e4 shot and after f takes e4 queen takes e4 uh, there is no uh, defense he can not defend uh, protect uh, c2 pawn and uh, black wins anyway uh, but uh, in uh, this position uh, queen b6 uh, looks strong but uh, black has even stronger continuation after which white's king's position will be uh, completely destroyed black has very nice short Bishop takes b2. Uh, what to do? If queen takes b2, king takes b2, then simply uh, queen b6. And again, uh, black wins almost immediately. Uh, white king does have a good uh, squares. Uh, he cannot go to a2 because of bishop, bishop e6 he cannot go to c3 uh, because of queen a5 and now after uh, queen b2 uh, knight a4 is winning uh, king c1 is bad here king a2 is bad king a1 is bad also king b1 is bad because king b1 and uh, king a2 uh, bad because of the uh, knight c3 fork king c1 is bad because of rook takes c2 here and uh, king a1 is bad because of uh, queen uh, c3 uh, with checkmate this uh, ch chess geometry where uh, white king does have uh, any move to escape and if uh, king c1 here then uh, black can simply check on b3 king b2 knight d4 uh, with a threat to c2 uh, square and the only move is bishop b5 but uh, it's uh, enough 
to, to win after knight takes uh, b5 and here uh, black's uh, black uh, won the piece back and uh, his attack is uh, still very strong for example after king c1 knight takes a3 is possible king d2 bishop e6 so uh, all black pieces are in the attack and white does have uh, any opportunity to continue uh, the game uh, and also uh, the last uh, move uh, here uh, we didn't look at uh, king a1 but uh, after king a1 uh, white has extra uh, piece but uh, anyway after bishop e6 uh, he does have uh, any chance uh, to save the game for example uh, here after b uh, queen d4 uh, black has knight b3 move c takes b3 queen b3 and there is no uh, defense out of uh, uh, matching threats if uh, queen d2 then simply uh, rook d8 and uh, black uh, wins here so f3 uh, is also not so good and uh, my uh, opponent played knight f3 in this position and uh, this also uh, was uh, uh, one of the uh, moves from uh, uh, my analysis and uh, here I analyzed uh, knight e4, knight takes e4, knight takes e4, queen takes d5 also uh, queen e1 here uh, does help because uh, black can play bishop g4 h3 bishop takes f3 gf queen b6 and uh, white does have any defense here because uh, queen b4 is bad uh, the pawn on f2 is canyon and uh, after uh, before here black can play simply knight c3 rook d3 rook c8 with idea idea a5 to open up uh, uh, position of the white skin if c3 now then simply knight takes c3 rook c8 and then queen b3 is decisive so black uh, is winning uh, this position uh, there is no uh, any defense even uh, knight d4 uh, rook d4 uh, is not helping because of queen b3 king d2 trying to hide the king but uh, after a5 uh, white can resign here So after knight takes e4, uh, my opponent played uh, queen takes d5, queen b6, rook d4. I, uh, this move uh, uh, also was in my analysis, and uh, my opponent tried to save the game after rook takes d4. And here uh, I uh, simply forgot uh, my analysis because. Uh, there were uh, many continuations and it was very hard to, to recall everything and uh, however uh, I remembered the idea, the main idea but didn't find it uh, uh, during the game uh, here I, I took uh, rook on uh, d4 win exchange uh, but uh, white uh, was hoping uh, for some counterplay uh, my uh, main analysis line 
uh, line uh, which I uh, analyzed uh, before the game was knight takes f2, which was uh, much better. And in the game, uh, I didn't like uh, this move because of uh, rook before option. But uh, uh, I just forgot the, the main idea of this line. Uh, here, black has a move which wins immediately. What uh, do you think? Uh, what black can do here? Can anyone uh, write us in chat? What is your suggestion here? What black can do? Okay, uh, here uh, black wins immediately after uh, rook d8 move because of uh, checkmate threat on d1 uh, black uh, wins a piece uh, for example after rook takes b6 he can take on d5 and there is checkmate threat and uh, black uh, wins here with extra rook because uh, in uh, after uh, bishop c4, a takes b6, bishop takes d5, knight takes h1 with extra rook, and if uh, rook f1, then simply uh, rook c5, and also uh, black uh, is with extra rook. Uh, so here, uh, after rook d4, knight takes f2, uh, black has uh, winning position. Uh, after rook g1, instead of rook b4, uh, bishop takes d4 uh, would lead to, to the uh, position in the game, but uh, here uh, rook f5 is even better. Uh, attacking uh, c two square, for example, after rook b4, the same idea, rook d5 uh, wins material, for example, uh, rook takes b6, take on d5, bishop c4, rook c5, and now a5 and b5 uh, wins immediately because now in, uh, bishop takes b5, uh, but because of rook takes c2, rook takes b2, you win uh, the game. So uh, here after uh, bishop uh, f5, uh, white has another option he can play uh, queen b5 rook c8 and after c3 another uh, very nice uh, shot uh, bishop d3 and th this uh, is winning for black Uh, sorry, rook d4, knight f2, bishop f5, and uh, another uh, very, uh, very nice variation, c3, rook f8, queen b5, take, take, and uh, black has very strong uh, continuation, queen e6, and what is his idea? Uh, bishop takes h6, and Black has one more uh, shot. He is winning uh, the game immediately. His uh, idea was uh, Queen A6 uh, was idea of uh, Queen A2 move, but uh, uh, after Queen A2, uh, Black uh, White uh, still uh, has uh, Square D2 for the King. Uh, but there is another shot. Black can play knight takes d4 here. It's amazing uh, how many uh, sacrifices are possible in uh, such position. And now uh, black wins immediately because uh, knight takes d4 
uh, as bad uh, due to queen e1 and then queen d1 checkmate and if uh, uh, c takes uh, d4 then simply rook c8 and uh, rook c2 uh, is winning so after uh, c takes d4 knight c8 is good and uh, knight d4 is better of, because of checkmate oh sorry this che checkmate immediately uh, queen e1 yeah because uh, bishop is on f5 uh, so you see uh, how many uh, nice variations uh, you can find e even in a very rare uh, opening and in the game uh, it was played bishop takes d4 it takes d4 take position is very similar here uh, bishop f5 uh, was stronger than i played uh, bishop e6 for example after bishop h6 here i'm attacking uh, c2 square and there is no any defense uh, for example if uh, white plays bishop c4 then uh, simply uh, take on c4 rook c8 winning the queen because of uh, threats uh, uh, rook takes c2 and then uh, discovered check uh, if c3 then black has another shot bishop uh, rook takes c3 queen b1 and knight e4 and he wins queen c1 queen a3 and uh, king uh, can go uh, anything uh, because uh, now uh, black uh, wins uh, queen so b bishop f5 was better uh, but I, I played uh, bishop e6 queen a5 knight g4 I didn't like uh, bishop h6 thread but uh, it was uh, rook f to c8 with idea bishop f5 was better uh, but e e even here uh, black uh, got very strong uh, position with extra exchange a6 uh, move was uh, against uh, bishop b5 development and here in, in, in the game i took on d6 b takes a6 uh, uh, white just blundered checkmate on d1 but uh, anyway even after knight, knight d2 uh, here uh, black's position is completely winning after B bishop e2 for example bishop g6 black has extra exchange and a completely win position so you see uh, how it's possible uh, to prepare to the game uh, uh, against particular opponent uh, who plays uh, opening which you never seen and uh, which which you never played but uh, anyway you can look at the chess uh, database uh, finding games he played and uh, after that you can find some nice ideas uh, how to play this opening and it uh, sometimes uh, it's you, you can get a real pleasure finding uh, very nice ideas very nice opportunities with uh, so many uh, pieces sacrifices and, uh, getting great initiative just uh, for development advantage so I, I think that uh, uh, this example was uh, w w would be uh, very helpful uh, for you and you can use this knowledge in your games so thank you for joining us goodbye